Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about our topic the stakeholder mapping. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of uh, PMP in near future. So this is a very very important and interesting topic for you. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. So friend, uh, Today's topic is stakeholder mapping. Stakeholder is a very important knowledge area as defined by PMBOK guide project management body of knowledge and also it's a very important topic with respect to PMP exam as well. So stakeholder, stakeholder is a person who has a positive or negative interest in a project. Whenever we are implementing a project there are lots or several stakeholders or persons involved either from your own side from company side or from customer side or vendor side as well so lots of people involved in the implementation of a project being a project manager you should be able to identify those stakeholders their expectations their requirements uh, what are their influence what are their uh, impact and what are their interest and basically the main purpose of uh, basically identification of stakeholder is to map them and now mapping to what mapping with respect to their interest with respect to their uh, involvement with respect to their uh, interest we map them now basically see if a person is uh, for example uh, you are implementing a ABC project and uh, you notice that the CEO from the customer side is very much interested in your project and he is very much involved as well in your project so obviously he will be an asset for you for your project because if he has interest if he has influence so obviously he will uh, he will be adding value for your project Similarly, uh, on the other hand, if a person, uh, C a CTO from uh, the customer side, he has uh, very high influence, but he is not interested in your project. So definitely, it will become a problem for you. So basically, stakeholder mapping means that to identify the stakeholder with res with reference to with respect to their interest, with respect to their interest, with respect to their impact and uh, interest we map them we basically it's a graphical representation of a stakeholder interest and influence now let me give an example here just see this example it's an, a very simple example of stakeholder mapping see on this x-axis we have interest and on the y-axis vertical axis we have the influence so see and there is a list of the stakeholder as well so if any stakeholder who has low interest and low influence we just need to monitor them what they are doing what they are saying etc if a stakeholder has high influence and uh, interest is low so we have to keep satisfied them By basically we have to send an email we have to talk with them and another type of stakeholder is there who has uh, interest is high but influence is low so we have to keep inform them okay and the fourth category is that monitor clo uh, manage closely means the interest is very high and the influence is very high so we have to manage closely manage closely means that you have to call them you have to have a meeting with them you have to send emails to them you have to sit with them have uh, like you have you have to sit with them talk with them what their expectations what are their requirements basically you have to give a very high value to those stakeholders which are very high in influence and very high in interest as well because they are your main uh, asset so see uh, with respect to the category like the main category is for four categories are there monitor keep satisfied uh, keep informed and manage closely so we just uh, identify the stakeholders with respect to the main category of their interest and influence and basically it will give you a very give a very great value for your project now what is the benefits uh, what are the benefits of ma stakeholder mapping first of all it will identify the key players key players are who are the key players who have very high influence and very high interest these are the 
uh, asset for your uh, asset for your project because they are the key player for the success of your project if you involve throughout the project these stakeholders they will definitely definitely be able to successfully complete your project then make decisions make decisions accordingly definitely make decisions means that you can categorize them that who are the stakeholder which you need to send uh, some information what are these stakeholders who you need to manage it closely what are the stakeholders who just needs to be informed so basically basically it is your own categorize categorization of a stakeholder with respect to their interest and influence and you can inform them you can uh, basically manage them according to their interest and influence also you can assess the power and the understanding of interest there as well like basically when you are sitting with them talking with them having a meeting with them so you can assess their power their interest their influence obviously friend if you are sitting with the uh, CIO of the company so you are once you are talking with them you can identify their interest there obviously the CIO of our company has the greatest uh, influence on the company we, uh, that's why he is the CIO of the company but there is a question that either he is interested in your project or not okay so basically uh, having a meeting with them having discussion with them having conference calls with them you can identify the power and the interest the stakeholders in your project as well so these are the very uh, basic benefits of that then uh, friend uh, what project stakeholders should be included in your stakeholder mapping uh, there are three categories which should be included in the stakeholder mapping first one is the internal stakeholder internal stakeholders are those stakeholders which are which belongs to your own company for example you are implementing a ABC project so like project manager from your company is an internal stakeholder the deployment manager from your company is an internal stakeholder internal stakeholders who belongs to your own company your own organization okay so these are the internal stakeholders external stakeholders are those which are the uh, outside of the of your company for example CIO of the customer uh, project manager of the customer side the uh, CTO of the customer side the functional manager of the customer side etc so basically the stakeholders who are outside your company are called as external stakeholders key stakeholders key stakeholders means those stakeholder which are basically decision maker like for example uh, again the CTO of a, of a company is a key stakeholder or you can say the project manager of the customer side is a key stakeholder um, the basically functional manager from your side is a key stakeholder so all the key stakeholder means the key person or decision maker or the make or break person basically who has the complete knowledge about the project and they are the very uh, you can say a very key stakeholder they are the main player of the project so all these three types of stakeholders should be included in the stakeholder mapping the internal stakeholder external stakeholder and the key stakeholder now uh, the procedure to create the stakeholder map uh, first of all you have to identify the stakeholder identification means that whenever the project is starting you have to uh, sit with the customer uh, you have to make you can say you can make an excel sheet in which you can identify the name of the stakeholder role of the stakeholder position contact number etc so you have to identify all the stakeholder here a very important point here is that you must have to identify all the stakeholder if you miss any stakeholder he will be identified at some later stage and it will become a huge problem for you because when the stakeholder identify at later stage he will definitely come up with some new requirements and he will force or he will definitely ask you to add include your his requirements and it will be a huge problem at later stage or you can say a rework will be required to include the requirements of a, st a stakeholder which was missing at early stage then analyze the stakeholder analyze means that analyze the expectations requirements influence interest 
uh, what basically uh, what type of a stakeholder he is for example he is a positive stakeholder he wants that project should be completed uh, either he is a negative stakeholder who, who doesn't want to that the project should be completed because if the project implemented his work uh, his uh, current uh, legacy work will be impacted etc then mapping a stakeholder mapping a stakeholders means that with respect to their interest with respect to their influence map the stakeholder accordingly so it is also very important based on that prioritize the stakeholders so that that means that uh, stakeholders who have the great interest high interest and the high influence as well so they are the most important stakeholders for you the stakeholders who have less interest and less influence so obviously they have a low priority so basically there are four main steps to uh, create a stakeholder map first is the identify stakeholder then analyze the stakeholder with respect to their powers with respect to their influence interest expectations and influence map the stakeholders and mapping means categorize the stakeholder and then prioritize the stakeholders with respect to their interest and influence etc so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video